Hello everybody, back. welcome back to Goblets and Warlots. My name is Jugen here. I'm coming to you today with a new out of the norm video that I've ever done before. And this is my review of the Saturn IV Ultra, the big guy in the back corner. Elgu is went and done it, made a true plug and play type printer. And I could not help myself but to give my honest review of it and give a little bit of uh, miss balls or well, you can say uh, my mess is up so you don't have to mess it up type uh, review today. I went and seen Uncle Jesse's. Uh, he's a very popular YouTuber. He did his review of it and and he went over to more of the basics and everything. I'm not going to recopy copy and paste of everything that he did. It comes with the, obviously the test prints that you can also do. I decided to go ahead and test print these wonderful island pieces and uh, they printed out just wonderfully. Um, it's a module set you can find on Thingiverse. Try to use supports on everything. I build these straight off the build plate because I want them flat as possible. So keep in mind, this is the build plate, right? Me not knowing used to the Saturn II, you just have to work the tool that gives you to get underneath. I did not do that and I just kind of start shoving it and I chipped it a little bit, right? So if you happen to do that by accident whatsoever, sand it down or get the pieces that are still on there. Cause I think what happened after I did that, it cut the fat. Now, I don't know what happened in the manufacturer. manufacturer. And this is my uh, Saturn II fat for reference, but it's essentially the same Saturn IV. These screws right here, they were tied on so tight, so it rounded off and I could not get them undone. So I had like three screws that I could not get out. I ended up having to order a grinding tool for my Dremel to make a little slice into the screw to get the screws out because it gives you extra screws, spare screws. But I just don't, just be very wary when you have to go cha change out your fab sheet that um, you do not be, I don't know, it gets better tools than the Allen wrenches they give you, like maybe a screwdriver type Allen wrench to get them out. Maybe that might help. So that was the biggest hiccup that I've had so far. This uh, printer, I opted for for pre-order. You can obviously get the one with the, the Ultra, the non-Ultra, just the Saturn IV. It has a cool green visor or whatever. But the perts I wanted for this printer, because I am content creator, it comes with its own surveillance camera, wireless network, so you can directly send your prints to the printer without having to use USB. It still has USB outlets, so if you wanted to do it that way. All right, so this is the program you're gonna need for the Saturn IV Ultra. Uh, it looks just like the original Chi2 bots, but it's a version two, and you're currently up here on the right is version 2.2 beta. Well, when you download the program, you for to get to the camera and everything, you have to go to Chi2 Manager. And what will prompt you to do is to re-download Chi2 Bots again to add this. It's kind of like an extension within Chi2 Bots after you set up your printer and everything. Uh, to get to the video surveillance, this is what it currently looks like because I'm not using it. Um, but this is the current video, current live feed. Have to go here, which is historical record. It'll only allow you to download the most recent prints. So here's like all my prints from what I did like yesterday. Once you do a new print, or you will not have the option to download. But here you can re-download here by clicking this, which I've already downloaded. And what it did, it created an eight second time lapse. And I'll show you that video right now. Video. And everything was really great. It's really awesome. I actually did a live stream yesterday and using the, the surveillance camera as part of the stream is really awesome. It was really great to see that actually going as I'm painting, doing my unusual painting setup. You have no other settings you can touch with other than the initial layer. The auto bed leveling for this, the auto bed levels, it takes time out. Uh, that's the first thing it does when you set up a print. Uh, the tank also should add is very much way bigger than I had the Saturn II. I don't know what the Saturn III, I didn't use that one. Pour a whole thing of resin in, the whole thing. You can pour it all, I'm not lying. Right now, I'm loving this printer. I highly recommend it to anybody that's just getting into printing and you want to skip all the headaches of uh, learning and everything. Elgu outdone themselves with this printer. You don't have to really do anything other than changing out the FEPS every now and then or whatever. You don't have to adjust any settings. It has two settings. It has the fast mode and the standard mode. 
Standard mode was still super fast with this print that I just did. And this print took about five hours. Um, normally, that, that's with standard mode. It'd probably cut like an hour off or two hours if you did the fast mode. I just opted for standard because I plan my prints out. I, uh, the other big thing with this printer, the fat comes up to the build plate and build plate does not go to the fat. So I think that makes it faster as well. There's also a simple clip on. There's no ball joint clip on. I think that goes into playing with um, auto leveling system. So it's really, it's just really good. So that's my review in a nutshell. Um, I'm probably like, as always, I get long winded and everything. So sorry about that. But I, I just feel like I had so much fun with this printer, learning this printer, plug and play in this printer. And I just wanted to give my mistakes were so you don't make the same mistake so protective gear as always it is hazardous properly dispose of your resin you guys have a wonderful day see you when i see you peace Standing at the